We've all heard it, how 80% of the ocean remains unexplored. That we know more about the surface of Mars than we do about our own seafloor. But here's a question no one really asks. Do we even understand what's on land with us? Because scattered across this planet are things that shouldn't exist. Artifacts that predate recorded history. Structures that modern machines couldn't build. Tools made without metal. By people who didn't even write. Objects that exist physically undeniably. Yet their purpose, their creators, and even their existence make no sense to modern science. These are seven real discoveries that science still can't explain. And no, this isn't fiction. Everything you're about to see is real. In a quiet library at Yale University, locked behind a glass, is a book that has driven some of the world's smartest people to madness. The Voynich Manuscript was discovered in the early 1900s. It contains hundreds of pages of illustrations, plants that don't exist anywhere on Earth, symbols no one has ever decoded, and flowing script written in a language that has never been spoken. Codebreakers from the US military, cryptographers, AI models, historians, no one has cracked it. Some say it's the work of a forgotten civilization. Others believe it's an ancient prank. But here's the part no one talks about. Whoever wrote this knew exactly what they were doing. The letters repeat in ways that mimic real languages. The structure makes sense. It's not gibberish. It's just untranslatable. In 1901, a team of sponge divers was searching the turquoise waters off the coast of Greece when one of them made an unexpected discovery, the sunken wreck of an ancient Roman ship. Among the broken amphoras and rusted coins, they pulled up a strange chunk of bronze fused with wood and coral. It looked like nothing more than sea junk, but when archaeologists began to clean it, something shocking emerged. Inside the corroded lump were gears, real gears, intricate, interlocking, and precisely cut. This wasn't a statue. It wasn't art. It was a machine. What they uncovered would come to be known as the Antikythera Mechanism, a 2,000-year-old device built to track the movements of the stars and planets, predict eclipses, and even map the cycles of the moon. In simple terms, it's a computer, not from the 1800s, not from the Renaissance, but from ancient Greece, centuries before anyone thought this kind of technology was even possible. And here's what truly stuns scientists to this day. Nothing even close to this level of mechanical sophistication would appear again for another thousand years. It's like finding a smartwatch buried inside the ruins of a Bronze Age village. So who built it? Where did the knowledge come from? And if they were capable of building something this advanced, what else did they create that's been lost to time? In 2011, a Swedish diving crew was scanning the bottom of the Baltic Sea when they picked up something strange on their sonar. It looked like a massive circular object, about 60 meters wide, perfectly round, with sharp angles, a ramp, even steps carved into its side. At first, they thought it might be a shipwreck, but it didn't make sense. Ships don't have perfect symmetry or straight corners. And this thing looked more like a UFO. When divers went down to investigate, things got even weirder. Their lights began to flicker. Radios stopped working. Compasses spun out of control. One diver passed out. Others said the silence underwater was unnatural, too quiet, like the ocean itself had stopped breathing. Experts tried to explain it away as a natural rock formation. But no known rock messes with electronic equipment like that. And no natural structure looks like this. To this day, it's still down there, at the bottom of the sea, unexplained, untouched, and watching. Hidden high in the Andes Mountains of Peru, just outside the ancient city of Cusco, stands a wall unlike anything on Earth. Not a tall wall, not a decorated one, but a wall built with such perfection that it shouldn't even exist. It's made of enormous stones, 
Some stones are as big as cars, others so heavy they weigh more than a private jet. Yet they fit together so tightly, not even a razor blade can slide between them. There's no mortar, no cement, just solid rock, locked together like a 3D jigsaw puzzle, with curves, corners, and complex angles. And here's the part that stops archaeologists cold. This was built by the Inca civilization, an ancient civilization where people who had no iron tools, no wheels, and no written language. They were supposed to be a Stone Age civilization. Yet this wall behaves like something out of the future. It survived centuries of brutal earthquakes, the kind that reduced nearby buildings to rubble. But this wall didn't even crack. When modern engineers try to recreate this precision, they need cranes, lasers, and computer models. But these stones were carved with stone hammers and moved by hand. No one knows how, no one knows why, and some believe this wasn't just engineering. It was knowledge passed down from someone or something far more advanced. Deep in the remote forests of eastern Siberia, there's a strange hill no animal will go near. Locals call it the Fire Eagle's Nest, a massive cone-shaped mound over 130 feet tall, made entirely of stone. At the very top sits a smooth, dome-like structure that looks almost artificial. The ground around it is scorched and scattered with crushed limestone, as if something had detonated there. But here's the strange part. There are no volcanoes in the region, no asteroid impact, no known geological reason this thing should exist. Even more unsettling are the things that happen nearby. Compasses spin wildly, GPS signals cut out, trees grow in twisted, unnatural directions. Birds refuse to nest here. Animals won't even pass through. It's like every living thing knows to stay away. Some scientists believe the hill was formed by a massive underground explosion, something like the Tunguska event. Others suspect it's not natural at all, that it might be man-made or worse, not man-made but still artificial. Several attempts have been made to investigate, but all have failed. Equipment malfunctions, drills break, and some researchers report feeling physically ill, as if the place itself is rejecting them. Some locals whisper that it's cursed. Others believe it hides something buried deep beneath, something we were never meant to find, and maybe something that's still alive. In the deserts of Western China, near the edge of an old, dried up salt lake, there's a strange mountain that's left scientists completely confused. Sticking out of the rocky surface are metal pipes, not scattered debris, but actual pipes embedded deep inside the solid rock. Some stretch into the mountain itself, while others go straight down into the lake bed, as if they're connected to something buried far below. When these pipes were tested, the results were shocking. They were dated to be over 150,000 years old. That's way before humans had cities or tools, or even farming. According to what we know, there shouldn't have been any advanced technology around. Yet these pipes were clearly designed with purpose. Some are connected by clean T-shaped joints. Others look like a branching network, almost like a modern plumbing system. Even the material is strange. The pipes are made of a mix of metals that don't naturally form like this, and some parts look like they've been welded together with heat, something no one from that time period should have been able to do. The Chinese government eventually sent experts to investigate. Their explanation? That these pipes were just fossilized tree roots that had absorbed metal over time. But that doesn't make much sense. Roots don't form perfect cylinders. They don't connect like machines. And they definitely don't get welded together. So the big question is, who built them? What were they for? And why were they placed in the middle of nowhere thousands of years before civilization even existed.